Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to more of the Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Uh, today, we are going to be continuing on with more of Route 102. I have some Pokemon I want to capture first and foremost. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that before we continue as we head into the next village after this. So, uh, yeah, like I said, there are three Pokemon we're looking for. I may only try to look for two of them, though, because the third one only has a 1% chance of appearing. But uh, that's essentially what we're taking care of. So uh, I'll uh, see you guys when I find them. Hey, guys, are you ready for some post commentary? Well, for these sections, whenever I'm starting a video and doing some grinding or whatever, I uh, generally expect these sections to be in post commentary just so I can uh, deliver as much information as possible about the uh, Pokemon that we'll be getting and capturing in this section of the video. Uh, so the first Pokemon that we have here, we have Lotad, the water and grass Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon can be found in both Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Sapphire, but not in Pokemon Ruby. This is actually a Pokemon Sapphire exclusive. And the interesting thing is that uh, the opposite version exclusive is also in Emerald, but it's at a much lower encounter rate. Uh, in this route, Lotad has a 20% chance of appearing, uh, just a bit lower than Wurmple and Poochiana, so it's not too hard to find. The other two are going to take a lot longer to find. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. Um, but yeah, um, overall, I wouldn't say uh, Lotad is really that hard to catch, and I, I think it's pretty decent for what it is. Um, it's also a Pokemon that does eventually evolve using a uh, Water Stone, uh, so you do have to find that at some point if you want its full evolution uh, family in your Pokedex. And as far as uh, Lotad's uh, abilities and natures, we'll go ahead and take a look at that here shortly. And as usual, if you have any nickname suggestions for Lotad, feel free to let me know in the video description below. Um, but as far as Lotad is concerned, uh, Lotad has two abilities that it can potentially have. The ability Swift Swim and the ability Rain Dish. Uh, for Swift Swim, when Rain Dance is in effect, uh, Lotad's speed is doubled. And for Rain Dish, when Rain Dance is in effect, Lotad recovers 1 16th of its max hit points. So if we go ahead and look at this Lotad, it actually has Rain Dish, so that's the HP recovery. And it looks like it has the Bold Nature, which uh, according to this is Defense Up and Attack Down. Which, uh, I don't know, I, I don't really see this one being used as a physical attacker much, so it's not too bad, I guess since you're probably going to be wanting to use more, like, you know, special attacks, since it has both water and grass going for it. Just kind of my opinion anyway, though. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, the first Pokemon that we can find. Um, but uh, the next two, oh man, uh, let's just say that the next two Pokemon are going to be a bit more time-consuming to get because of the encounter rates that we have to work with. I'll just say that right now. Okay, so the next Pokemon we have here is Ralts, the Psychic type. Um, it becomes a Psychic uh, Fairy type in a future generation when Fairy types get added, but in this game it's just Psychic. Um, but yeah, Ralts only has a 4% chance of appearing, which is quite low, but at the same time, whenever you, you do encounter it, it's actually not too hard to capture because... Uh, at this stage in the game, at level 4, uh, Ralts does not have any attacking moves. It only has Growl. It doesn't learn its first attacking move until level 6. So, essentially, you can get some free damage in it without uh, them dealing damage to you. Just be sure that you don't actually kill it anyway. And uh, it is lowering my attack power right now. And I could honestly try to use another Astonish because uh, Astonish uh, is actually a physical move in this gen because Ghost is physical. But uh, I don't want to risk it, so I'm going to go ahead and just use a Pokeball anyway. And yeah, um, that will uh, pretty much give us our Ralts here. Now as far as uh, Ralts is concerned for its uh, abilities, it can have two abilities, Synchronize and Trace. Uh, for Synchronize, when Ralts is inflicted with Poison, Paralysis, or Burn, the opponent will also be afflicted with the same condition. And for Trace, it copies an opponent's ability when brought into battle, which... Uh, I didn't see that be the case here, so I think this one has Synchronize. And uh, I am actually going to give this Ralts a name. I'm going to name this after my good buddy GamerCal. Now, GamerCal is male, but uh, I'm not going to really worry about uh, genders and getting the right gender or anything. 
Trust me, getting the right gender is going to make this more complicated. And uh, finally, the last Pokemon we can find is Seedot. This is the Pokemon Ruby exclusive uh, between Seedot and Lotad. Uh, Seedot, I believe, is only a grass type, but uh, when fully evolved, it'll actually become a grass and dark type, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, the thing you have to kind of worry about when it comes to Seedot is Seedot only knows the move Bide, which, uh, you know, it, it does a lot of damage when it does actually hit, because it basically, you know, stores up damage and releases it back at you. But, um, thankfully, um, it won't be doing too much at this stage, and we're probably not going to be damaging it anymore, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but this Pokemon only has a 1% chance of appearing in Emerald. In Pokemon Ruby, it's a 20% chance, but in Emerald, it's a 1% chance, so it's definitely the hardest Pokemon to find for sure. Um, as far as its abilities, it can have either Chlorophyll or Early Bird. For Chlorophyll, when Sunny Day is in effect, Seedot's speed is doubled. And for Early Bird, if affected with sleep, Seedot wakes up in half the time as normal. And yeah, those are pretty much the Pokemon you can get in Route 102. Okay, that was actually a very, very lengthy grinding session. It took a very long time uh, to find both Ralts and Seedot, but I did finally get them. I've pretty much gotten all the Pokemon to this point that I could get, with the exception of uh, Wurmple. But like I said, I'm actually waiting on Wurmple because of reasons I'll talk about later. Um, but yeah, uh, due to all the grinding I did, I'm actually at level 7 now with uh, all of my Pokemon, with the exception of Seedot, since uh, I literally just captured Seedot and it's currently in my Pokemon box. But uh, yeah, every, everybody is at least at level 7. I uh, got some new moves for some of my Pokemon as well. Uh, Lotad actually has a different and better attacking move. One that's actually, you know, a same type attack bonus with Absorb. So that'll actually, you know, do some bigger damage than Astonish. Um, my Mudkip actually has Water Gun, which again, same type attack bonus. So that'll actually be pretty good. And most importantly, Gamer Cow, my Ralts, now has Confusion, an actual psychic move. So, uh... That'll actually come in handy, and we'll actually be able to attack with it now, too, so... Uh, thank God for that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with uh, exploring Route 2, because uh, we've only explored, like, half the route. And there's still some other trainers we have to fight, some things we have to look at and interact with, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and keep on moving. Let's uh, talk to you first... I'm not very tall, so I sink right into tall grass. Yeah, I can, I can, I can tell that. I can definitely tell. Uh, the grass goes up to my nose, and fwa 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 Okay, so I guess that was a sneeze or something. Okay, whatever. Oh boy, it looks like we have a wild encounter. And if it was gonna be a C dot, I would have been really mad. <laughs> Just imagine having like two back-to-back C -back dots after taking like. What seriously felt like an hour worth of grinding looking for all those things. But, I mean, that's what happens when you have single-digit encounter rates. Uh, they're very, very low. But, yeah. Um, Gamer Cal is still very low level, so not really doing, like, major damage right now. But, uh, that confusion will definitely come in handy, that's for sure. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Okay, so... You're probably going to have the Zigzagoon Poochiana Standard Affair. That would be my guess anyway. Youngster Allen. Uh, sending out Zigzagoon. Okay, so that's good. We'll go ahead and start with a Confusion here. Oh yeah, one other thing that's actually worth mentioning is I did get a couple of pickups from my uh, Zigzagoon. Uh, most of them were potions. I did get a Paralyzed Heal as well, I believe. Or maybe it was an Antidote. I... I'll have to actually look at my items. But uh, w the most obscure find that I actually made with my Zigzagoon, and I'll definitely uh, show it here in a second. Also, we have a Talo. Uh, I think Cal should be able to take this on. Uh, Talo is a flying type, so shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but I also got a Great Ball. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely better than a Pokeball. Uh, for those wondering about the Premier Ball, uh, the Premier Ball is an item that you can sometimes get whenever you purchase items from a shop. Um, a Premier Ball is basically just a special Pokeball. I don't think there's like anything majorly different about a Premier Ball versus a Pokeball, except its look. 
and that's really, really about it. I don't think it has, like, any extra advantages or anything. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's just always the impression I've gotten. It's just, like, basically a bonus you get from purchasing, uh, Pokeballs and other items from shops. That's basically all it is. Um, so let's go ahead and see if, uh, Confusion can, uh, knock this bird out. Uh, not quite. At least it's Peck didn't do too much damage. Although I am four levels higher than it, so that probably helps. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I called you because I thought I could beat you. Well, you didn't. So, too bad. Okay, so Petalburg City is actually going to be our first city we'll get to. But before we do... We do have uh, some uh, interesting bushes right here. Uh, these are berry bushes. You know that they're going to be berry bushes when they're basically trees that are on these like uh, little soil patches. And uh, we can go ahead and grab these. These are two Oron berries. So we're going to go ahead and pick them. And we also get two Pecha berries as well. So let's go ahead and grab them too. So as far as what these berries do, um, there's like a bunch of different berries in this game. More berries in this game than there were in like gold and silver. And, um, you know, each berry has like different effects. Uh, this is a hold item that prevents poison. Oran uh, can restore 10 HP. And you can basically give these berries to your Pokemon to hold during battle. And basically if they get the status effect that they, the berry is supposed to prevent, like they'll automatically use it. If they get low on HP, they'll also use it as well. So that's basically what berries do. And uh, one kind of cool thing about berries is you can actually um, grow berries in this game. So for example, let's go ahead and plant a berry. We'll go ahead and plant... Uh, I'll actually plant uh, both uh, Pecha berries here. So if you can actually remember where you have like certain berries, you can come back later in the game and... Potentially uh, restock on berries, too. Uh, so we're going to be planting both of those to get essentially a bigger output of berries. So, you know, obviously we got two from one plant. If these two grow, uh, we'll actually get four. So you can kind of keep expanding your berry inventory in that fashion. Uh, is there an item right here? Uh, there is not. I think this is just a shortcut. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move on, then. Let's go ahead and fight the next trainer that we have. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Well, at least she has a uh, dedicated mindset. I guess I'll give her that. So this is Last Tiana. Last Tiana has a Zigzagoon. We've seen enough of these by this point, so... I'm not at all worried. Plus, with Confusion, we'll be doing... Probably a lot more damage because uh, Growl is not going to lower um, special attack, just normal attack, so we definitely have the advantage there. Okay, now, ooh, Shroomish. Okay, this is a different Pokemon. I believe Shroomish is just grass, but I believe its evolution can become a grass fighting type, and it's actually a pretty interesting uh, grass fighting type, too. Definitely a Pokemon I've used before in other playthroughs, and, and it's been alright. Maybe not the best, but uh, again, it, it's a pretty cool and unique typing, that's for sure. It's a way you can kind of counter ice types, for example, so that's one advantage of having the grass fighting type. But no problem for Gamer Cal. Still got enough strength to carry through. I'm probably going to switch it out now because uh, Cal is looking a little low on HP here. Yep, you ended up furthering my career instead of your own. Kind of backwards, don't you think? <laughs> okay, well, let's go down here. Uh, down here, I believe we can find another potion. Which I think we have like five or six potions now after all the ones that Zigzagoon has found. Which, uh, speaking of which, he does a new item for us. We have Escape Rope. That's actually a pretty good one, not gonna lie. Well, let's put him in front. We'll have him actually do some battling here. Although, I think that may have been the last trainer on the route, so maybe not. Let's see, level 4 Wurmple. 
Oh yeah, we should be able to get a level up from this. Its attack isn't great, unfortunately, but uh, we're still doing more damage than it's doing to us, and we even got a critical hit against us, so shouldn't be too concerned. There we go. Level 8. Didn't learn any new moves, but that's fine. And we have made it to Petalburg City, so we are in a new city now, which is great. A lot of new buildings to really look at, and uh, we can also advance some story stuff too. But first, let's go to the Pokemon Center and restock our Pokemon here. That's the most important thing, and the thing we should definitely do at first. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see what these guys have to say. When my Pokemon ate an Orenberry, it regained HP. There are many types of Pokemon. All types have their strengths and weaknesses against other types. Depending on the type of Pokemon, a battle could be easy or hard. For example, your Mudkip has a water type. It's strong against the fire type, but it's weak against grass type and electric type Pokemon. Well, thanks for reminding us of that fact. That PC-based Pokemon storage system, whoever made it must be some kind of scientific wizard. And you say, hello there, trainer. You've got a wonderful smile there. I have a hobby, collecting the profiles of Pokemon trainers. So, how about it? May I see your profile? Uh, info? You make your own profile by putting together four words or phrases. Here, I'll show you an example of a profile using four pieces of text. You can switch these four pieces with other text pieces any which way you like to make your own profile. There are a lot of text pieces that you can use. They are arranged in groups like Pokemon, Lifestyles, and Hobbies, so it's easier to look them up. So first, choose the group of text pieces to display a list of choices. Then pick the choice you want. Repeat for the remaining text choices and you'll have your very own profile. Okay, so I guess we can do that. I am a Pokemon friend. Let's change the word friend to, uh, let's see. I am a Pokemon anime. No. Um, I am a Pokemon hero. I like that a little bit better. We'll do that. I am a Pokemon hero. F -f Fantastic! Your profile, it's wonderful. It really says what you're about. Why, anyone hearing this profile would be captivated by you. Thank you. So yeah, nothing really major with that. Just kind of something fun you can do in your spare time. That's really about it. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Mart. See what we got here. If Pokemon is weak now, it'll grow stronger. The most important thing is love. Love for your Pokemon. Do you have any antidotes with you? If you walk around with a poison Pokemon, it'll lose HP until it faints. Take some antidotes with you. Do you use Repel? It keeps Pokemon away, so it's useful when you're in a hurry. So I believe Repels are like the only thing that get introduced here, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, there's a couple of new things here at this shop. Um, escape ropes are the big thing. You can use it to escape a cave or dungeon. Uh, repels can uh, repel Pokemon. Uh, wild Pokemon for a hundred steps and um, I believe the way it works is like if a Pokemon level is higher than what your front party Pokemon is the Pokemon you send in the battle um, you will not be able to escape that encounter but any other Pokemon that's the same level or lower level um, you will not have any encounters of that so you can actually use this as a way to uh, find a Pokemon if you know the um, level is higher than what you're at. So that's kind of a trick you can use to find some Pokemon easier. And then you have all the X items. These items are basically just uh, items that increase stats in battle. X speed, speed, X attack, attack. X defend is defense. And orange mail, a Zigzagoon print mail to be held by a Pokemon. There's not really a major purpose for mail. It's essentially just like a hold item you can give Pokemon, and if you trade Pokemon, you can give like little messages to uh, other trainers. That's really all this is. I don't think it's anything like too important. 
But it's there. You want to have that little bit of customization, I guess. But yeah, that's basically the shop. So let's go ahead and talk to you. Let's say you have six Pokemon. If you catch another one, it's automatically sent to storage box over a PC connection. Which that happened with CDOT, so we were already aware of that. Where has our Wally gone? We have to leave for Verdanturf Town very soon. Oh my gosh, a kid's been lost. That's not good. Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from somewhere far away. I battled Norman once, but phew, he was way too strong. How would I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. Oh boy, this gym leader sounds like the real deal here. My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or it could be a look of somber silence struggling with fear. Oh my god, that's dark. <laughs> what do you see reflected in your face? I see. Pieces, game of the year. Let's see, what's in here? Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and then the mountains. Sigh. I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Crawl through some damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains, cross the raging seas, wander about in dark caves, and sometimes even get a little homesick. It must be fabulous to travel. Indeed. It's kind of stressful too, I imagine, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, so... Yes. Hiya! Are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check out what kind of gym is in town. See? This is the Petalburg City's gym. This is the gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. Okay, so I guess we gotta do this first. Battleburg City Pokemon Gym. Leader Norman. A man in pursuit of power. Oh boy, that sounds intense. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Rob, so you're all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Rob. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You're a... Oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Verdanturf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Rob, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here. I'll loan you my Pokemon. Okay, so Wally gets a Zigzagoon. Oh, wow, a Pokemon! Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Okay, so this is basically an extensive uh, tutorial on how to capture Pokemon. Even though I've captured six Pokemon now, so... Highly, highly not relevant for me. Oh, wow, thank you. Rob, would you really come with me? You know, Wally, we both have running shoes, you know. <laughs> Let's see, Rob... Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, Ralts. It's level five, too. Go, Zigzagoon. So yeah, basically just showing the tutorial of how to capture Pokemon. You weaken one. Use an attacks, and when you're ready, just chuck a Pokeball at it. And yeah, you generally want to wait till it's like low HP. Like you can still catch it if it's at full HP, or even if it's like missing some, um, just a little bit. But the catch rate will definitely go up the more HP you deplete. So it's definitely something you need to consider. So here we go. I'm gonna throw your Pokeball. Throw your potion at it. <laughs> he 
Here, heal! <laughs> well, hey, that might actually get the Pokemon to like you more. It's like, hey, I hurt you. I'm sorry. Here, heal up. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. What a kind and generous trainer. Okay, so there you go. Wally has a Ralts now. He's going to have to find a way to level it up, though, if he wants to get a move that's not just Growl. But uh, I'll leave that on his own. I did it! It's my, my Pokemon. Rob, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Rob, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Rob. Now, Rob, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Rob. But that's only after you become stronger. But I want my badge now! You can't control me. <laughs> You're not my dad. Oh, wait. Yeah, you are. Never mind. Okay, Wally's house. Let's go ahead and pay a visit to Wally's house really quick. You're... Ah, oh, you must be Rob, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been a frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with my relatives in Verdenturf Town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He's already left. Our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. Well, that was quick. Wally was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Well, that's good. That's good that we could have made his day like that. Seriously. Wait, who are you? Excuse me. Let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. I'm a talented trainer. I'm back here. <laughs> Uh, but no, I believe that guy is actually unique to Emerald, if I'm not mistaken. Had something to do with kind of like the post-game that you'll uh, get into once you beat the main game, but... Again, we'll discuss that way down the line. We're not even ready for that part uh, just yet. Um, but yeah, we're actually uh, pretty much good to go here, so I think we've done everything we needed to do here in Petalburg. So we can actually continue on and go to the next route of the game, which I believe is Route 104. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and start wrapping up this video uh, because uh, we are on a new route, and I do actually want to go ahead and try and capture the Pokemon on this route. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, and then I'm going to start fresh in the next video with the uh, Pokemon I caught. And then I actually want to start using one of them because even though I don't think they're going to be a permanent team member, uh, it is a Pokemon I do want to kind of start using for a little bit of this early game. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop here in just a moment. Uh, but this has been Pokemon Trainer Rob. This has been Pokemon Emerald. Hope you guys have been enjoying this. Uh, sorry if it does seem a little slow paced at times. You know, we're still trying to get through that early game stuff. But we'll, we'll start getting in the rhythm of things and being able to make more progress as we move forward. But yeah, I'll uh, talk to you guys next time.